Hey Capricorns, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for you guys for the week of May 10th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I usually do Capricorns pretty early in the queue, I guess because I'm a Capricorn, but this is a, uh, you guys are at the end of my list. So, um, because your kiss, your kiss is on my lips. All right, so you guys know I channel a lot of music, so whatever comes to my mind, I start singing. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on with Capricorns for this week. I've got kind of a unicorn theme going. I just bought this unicorn oracle deck. So um, Capricorns, what's happening in love for the week of May 10th? Today is May 11th. If you find this reading another week and it resonates, take it as it does. If you're a cross watcher, that works too. I don't always take um, reversals. We got three of pentacles here, daughter of scepters, which is um, page of wands, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, could be some fire sign in your like friend group or people that you're connected to. We've got eight of wands, communication, and eight of pentacles. So I do feel if you guys have been in communication with a fire sign or someone new that's kind of sparking your interest, I think it's positive. I think it could actually manifest into a positive outcome with this eight of pentacles. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, that's productive energy. Um, make sure, yeah, you focus on the people that you really want to collaborate, the people that um, bring you this enthusiasm and don't focus on other energies that are not productive for you okay five of pentacles um you guys i do feel like have some fear about being left behind or you know you're still dealing with these abandonment um wounds of scarcity mindset but it's all where you choose to focus oh i love that you guys got the empress in this deck look how beautiful this is the tarot of vampires this is like a fierce empress this is like a empress which Empress is ruled by Libra and Taurus, where we're in the season of Taurus right now. She don't take, take shit from nobody. She dictates and calls the shots of what she wants in her life. She manifests what she wants. She lets go of things not working for her. We've got Scorpio energy here. She transforms, she's powerful, she's strong, she's bold, and she focuses, as Capricorns do, on what she wants out of her life. Her, her God-given life. So I think that is beautiful. You guys also are being seen as strong and beautiful, maybe by the person that you're admiring here, okay? You're you're in Empress vibe, so I love that. Because I pulled that, I want to go into my Moody Moon messages honoring the cycle of the Divine Feminine deck. This is my self-created deck. Let's see what other energies are coming up. I just did see the inner child, but I'm not ready to dramatic okay capricorns can be dramatic sometimes i know i'm acting out of character but i need your love you want to make sure you keep the drama at bay here you don't need anyone's love you don't need to prove yourself you don't need to fight for anyone's love you just put your energy where it is productive that's the thing message i keep getting lost should i stay or should i go this could be your energy or this could be someone you're dealing with i feel you could be dealing, look at this, bonding, I'm needing my soul sisters and my soul tribe. And self-care, spoiling myself and loving myself. Look at this, you guys. Your answers are going to be found in the people that support you and also with you supporting yourself. The more you invest in yourself, I feel the more positive things are going to come of this situation. Okay. I want to pull from all things intuitive messages of love and see Capricorns. What other themes are going on for you here? I mean, I feel there's a lot of self-love themes. There's a lot of finding your tribe, finding the women that support you. I think you guys are in this feminine energy seeking female bonds that you can trust and external parties intruding on this relationship. We did have three of pentacles. So you guys could feel like, you know, there's someone here in the mix that's preventing you from having the kind of connection that you want. But don't focus on that, okay? It's safe to trust in this situation and protected. You are safe and divinely guided. You have nothing to worry about. I think, you know, Capricorns were the biggest worry word. So keep focusing on the positive and what you want. That's the message that I keep getting, not what you're fearing, okay? We're gonna go into Mystic Moon's charm cards. How does a person that uh, Capricorns dealing with feel towards them? 
how do they feel? Owl, experienced, butterfly, development. Yeah, there's something brewing, there's something developing. There's potential here, sentimental. You know, I said childhood stuff, did I? Five of Pentacles. But there is this like kindred spirit energy that I'm getting. Unlock key and corn, cream of the crop. This is the Empress energy. Um, something with like gardening and being outside that's um, really going to be useful for you with this butterfly and the corn of the crop. I feel like there's a garden with butterflies and stuff like that. But you guys are like on the brink of your destiny, I feel, right now here. You're unlocking this whole new universe and this whole new world. A whole new world. I feel it's really important for you guys to not get too focused on the past here and to just keep moving forward. But the person you're dealing with feels like you maybe have the key to unlock their future. Um... You could be someone that's like more experienced or they're more experienced or something like that where someone's going to show the other person the way is the message I'm getting here. Okay, we're going to go into my Twin Flame current vibes. What does this person want to communicate to you? Divine Feminine. Look at this, you guys. A lot of feminine energy in your reading. Second chances. Well, we had sentimental. So it could be someone from the past is coming forward. I am detaching with love. Second chances. Releasing. Um, I feel once you release is when this is going to happen. This is on the bottom turned up. I have to stay with them because there is still... I feel in the past there was a lot of like you pushing or trying to open. Look, there's a key here too. Trying to open a door of someone that was just not working but when you release that is when you're gonna have a second chance at love either with this person or with somebody else okay let's get into twin flame messages volume one from mystic moon what does this person want to communicate to capricorn well, i wanted to use my uh, unicorn deck too i don't know if i can meet your expectations okay I can still feel you. I wish I could take back the things I said. This person feels like you are like really high up there and they don't know if they could live up to that. I think it's their own insecurities. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. So I feel this person is like, they're very tempted to come back to you, but they're also like, they're still karma with someone else. So it's at the same time, I feel like you guys just need to continue focusing on yourself because we have self-care, we have feminine energy, we have emperors, cream of the crop, just like boosting yourself up. Okay, this is a unicorn deck, not a horse. I don't know why it says and horse, not a hairstyle pride. I just got these two for the Aries reading, direction and pride. Okay, let's get a couple more. We've got not a cloud fluidity you know i was kind of getting there's some sort of like sexuality like things like um lgbt with the pride and the fluidity um this person could feel like maybe you're experienced in that department and they're not or something like that and there could be they could be with someone of the opposite sex or same sex and they're with um you know something about like sexual exploration here not a mermaid daring and they might not have the courage right now to face that part of themselves they might feel like you're more experienced than them and they um there's still someone that they're with that's like more conventional for them that's just kind of a really specific message i'm getting and not may not resonate for all of you guys okay so i'm gonna end with the soul journey lessons blame failure and loneliness this is interesting because uh, make sure you guys are aware of these themes um, going on in your life if these seem to be relevant at all to you. You don't want to be in a blaming behavior because that's also sort of like a victim behavior. And I feel like someone said, I don't know if I can meet your expectations. There's like a fear of failure here. Um, if you guys are kind of like escape, trying to escape loneliness, 
you know, the Empress is here. You're not lonely. You have yourself, okay? I know that that's not ideally maybe what some of you guys want to hear, but if you could cultivate a bonding relationship with yourself, that's when you're going to start to call in the connections that are really worthy of you and really meet your energy, your vibration. All right, Capricorn, so I hope this reading resonated with you. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.